It's especially fitting that we honor this man so close to Memorial Day. Joseph J. Rochford's contribution to our nation's defense was for many years cloaked in secrecy. In the early months of World War II, when the United States was suffering shattering losses in both oceans, Joe Rochford was laboring away in a basement room at Pearl Harbor with a hand-picked group of half a dozen experts and a small support force he tackled the crucial problem of how to penetrate the secret communications of the enemy. Early in 1942, there were unmistakable signs that Japan's powerful combined fleet was readying a major offensive. And while others speculated it might be aimed at Alaska or the Panama Canal, Joe Rochefort's now famous station hypo was able to prove that the target was Midway Island. Rochefort was further able to pinpoint the timing of the attack and the launch point of the enemy carrier planes with incredible accuracy. Admiral Nimitz thus deployed his limited naval forces to engage the vastly superior enemy striking force, thwart its invasion plans, and sink four aircraft carriers. The American victory made Midway the crucial battle of World War II in the Pacific. And if ever there were a battle involving tens of thousands of men in which an incredible victory was attributable to one man, this one was attributable to Joseph J. Rochefort. In paying homage to him today, we recognize publicly what his friends have known for 44 years. As naval historian Captain Edward L. Beach has put it, to Joe Rochefort must forever go the acclaim for having made more difference at a more important time than any other naval officer in history. Such a claim, by its nature, rare, but in celebrating the memory of Joseph J. Richford, we also celebrate the achievements of the thousands of other men and women of our national intelligence community who anonymously serve our country without expectation of recognition or reward. So I am honored to present this distinguished service medal to the family of Joseph J. Richford. Madam, would you please read the citation? The President of the United States takes pride in presenting the Distinguished Service Medal posthumously to Captain Joseph J. Rochefort, United States Navy. The service is set forth in the following citation. Her exceptionally meritorious service to the government of the United States and the duty of great responsibility while serving the Commander-in-Chief of the Pacific Fleet as officer in charge of the Combat Intelligent Unit, Station Hypo, from March 1942 through June 1942. By virtue of his superb professional knowledge, astute guidance, and personal dedication, Captain, then Commander Rochefort, provided technical expertise and inspiring leadership to discover, analyze, and provide to the Fleet Commander-in-Chief astoundingly timely and accurate intelligence on Japanese naval plans and intentions leading to the Battle of Midway on June 1942. The information provided by Captain Rochefort's Radio Intelligence Unit serves as a singular basis for the Fleet Commander-in-Chief to plan his defenses, deploy his limited forces, and devise strategy to ensure U.S. Navy success in engaging the Japanese forces at Midway. His unrelenting efforts in this endeavor and the intelligence information he developed resulted in a naval engagement with the Japanese fleet that is acknowledged as a turning point of the Pacific War. Captain Rochefort's distinctive, distinctive accomplishments, tenacious commitment to excellence, and steadfast devotion to duty reflected great credit upon himself and we're in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service.